Some content performs much, much better than other content. It gets more engagement, it gets more traffic, it just gets better results, it's just higher quality. You maybe have noticed this by looking at any Google Analytics account or any content in any channel anywhere. Today we're going to use AI to audit a piece of content against best practices. But beyond that, I'm going to show you how to use AI to create your own audit prompt for really anything in your marketing. Let's jump in. Okay, I'm looking at a page. Classic article, web page. This is about building automation systems. It's about efficiency. It's got some subheads and some text. Is this article good? <laughs> Does it align with best practices? Is it doing a good job at engaging the visitor by using those little elements that can make a big difference? The best content has a great opening hook. It starts by engaging them right away. The best content is visual. It has something of visual interest, like an image or a video, at every scroll depth. The best content is well supported. It uses evidence and examples. It's very structured. Lots of formatting, headers, subheads. It's interconnected. It has internal links. It's collaborative. It has, in, it has contributor quotes and multiple points of view. It also has personal perspectives and little stories and anecdotes. And it's detailed and complete. These are just some of the best practices that content includes. Now, I'm going to write an audit prompt right now to check that article against these best practices. Let's write it together. I'm in ChatGPT, and I'm going to use my voice to do this. I actually got a tool installed called Whisperflow, uh, but you could use any tool for this. Even the native kind of record button right there would work just fine. But here's how I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me make this prompt, okay? Uh, the best articles in content marketing have a lot of common traits. Uh, they have visuals at every scroll depth, they have a supportive evidence, they use examples, they have lots of formatting like subheads and bullets and bolding and italics. They're interconnected, they've got internal links, the paragraphs are probably short, they're collaborative, they've got quotes from contributors and experts, they've got personal points of view, they have strong opinions, they take a stand, they are also topically complete, they cover, the t they cover everything in depth and detail, they don't have any big gaps. Write a prompt that I can use to audit articles. The user will give you a screenshot of an article, and the output should be a scoring system with some kind of colorful heat map matrix or a, uh, an evaluation. Your goal is to make for me a reusable prompt that I can use again and again to audit content. Whisperflow turned that into a prompt generating prompt, and I'm going to now submit that, and AI is going to come back with a prompt that I can hopefully use again and again to audit content instead of just this one-off thing. My goal is to make a reusable prompt that I can store in my shared prompt library, distribute with my team, uh, go back to, uh, maybe improve it if it's not working. Of course, I'm gonna have to test it to see how well it works, but let's see what it did. Reusable prompt for content quality, audit for article screenshots. You're a content marketing strategist. There it goes. It listed my best practices here. Uh, personal angle, strong stance or point of view. I'm gonna combine, that, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll combine those two. Okay, as I'm reading this prompt, I'm thinking about ways that it could be improved, and I may have a longer conversation with AI to try to iterate on what it made initially. Examples might be, suggest some ways to improve this prompt. What other evaluation criteria should be added? Maybe it's got ideas for me. Add the following admit, uh, evaluation criteria, and I tell it to incorporate some of those. Uh, I want to reuse this a lot, so let's simplify the formatting of this prompt. You made something that's got a lot of little emojis in it, and I want to, I want to clean it up. It can do that for me. Now, assuming we did, we talked to it a little bit, we got some improvements from it, we think we're gonna, we're ready to test it. Prompts need to be tested, just like software needs to be debugged. Uh, I'm going to give it that web page. Now, there are really four ways that you can give AI a web page. One, you can just give it the link, or just copy and paste in the text. That's fine for a basic review. If you're doing SEO audits, you probably wanna upload an HTML file because then it can see the meta description and the title tag, which are not actually in the text of the page. But for anything related to conversion and engagement, I want to give it a full page screenshot because then it can see the images. It can look closely at the page. It can see and evaluate and tell me what's there and what's not there. Uh, I'm going to take a full page screenshot of this URL. Uh, you can do this using Snagit, which has amazing features to do all kinds of things. That's a paid tool from TechSmith, highly recommended. I have it and use it every day. Uh, a simple way to do it is with a, a Chrome extension like this one. I'm using Go Full Page. Makes a screenshot. I can click to download that. Now I've got the screenshot. I'm going to take that prompt, which I made right here, right? Uh, let's just copy and paste this into ChatGPT. New conversation. 
I could have used the same conversation, I suppose, but uh, for testing reasons, let's just keep it separate. Upload the article, screenshot, uh, submit the prompt, and it comes back and it's going to analyze that against those criteria. So what am I doing here? I'm telling it what quality looks like. I'm not asking it to write anything. I'm looking for ideas. I'm trying to find gaps and make it a better page. How do we do? Strong opening? Oh, uh, got a medium. Visuals at every scroll depth? Nope. It saw that. It does not have that. What about uh, use of evidence? Mm, not really. There's no real world examples in that or data points to support the claims. Headers, subheads, bolding italics? Yep, it, we nailed that. Internal links? Nope, no contextual links. Expert quotes? Totally missing. Personal angle? Not at all. It's written from a very neutral, impersonal voice. So it looks like a pretty good uh, audit just based on my own best practices. And uh, it wraps up with a little section on what's what 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 are the key missed opportunities on this page. So you can start to see how uh, we can use AI to help us use AI and to write draft prompts that we can then test. I would keep working with it at this point and have it edit or change or add something to the prompt. Go back to where I had to generate the prompt and give it input on how to make that a better prompt. Maybe I wanted to list more missed opportunities or add or remove criteria. Uh, I sort of think a couple of these maybe should be combined. Uh, personal point, personal angle and strong stance are sort of the same thing. But you get the idea. The thesis is that our job as marketers is to make more high performers. I'm not really trying to save time using AI here and make more medium quality stuff faster. I know from experience and from tons of data that a small percentage of things gets most of the results. That's why I use AI. It's to help me create more of these top performers, to help me find a medium performer and see what's missing, how that could be better. Uh, I don't, I'm not really that interested in making lots of medium quality stuff that never really moves the needle. It doesn't really help. In other words, stop using AI to find efficiencies and instead use AI to find deficiencies. Use it for gap analysis, and then go plug those holes and make a higher quality piece. AI for writing, that's eh, kind of interesting. AI for gap analysis, super interesting, very useful. Absolutely focused on performance, uh, which in the end is what we're all here for, right? Hope this is helpful. Again, I'm Andy from Orbit Media. Orbit is a web design and development company that builds and optimizes websites for both search and conversion. Uh, we build high-performing B2B lead gen websites for mid-market companies. Happy to chat about that anytime. And if you know someone who'd benefit from this little method, feel free to share this. We'd be grateful. Uh, and if all the the, the links uh, to the relevant articles, if you're watching this on YouTube, are below in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.